so now let's get into broadcast variables it is very very important concept uh, for us to understand and also for some certifications such as hdpcd spark it is highly relevant so first let us understand when to use broadcast variables typically when we have to join a very large data set to a small data set we can use broadcast variable okay and how to use it first we have to create hash map of the data set and do a lookup into that rather than doing the join the way we have done earlier and let's get back to the problem statement uh, we need to get the product name on top of uh, uh, product uh, uh, revenue on, on each day instead of product id we need to get date product name and revenue okay and uh, as we have seen products have to be read from local file system so let's start writing the code get daily revenue per product using broadcast variable rather than join i am launching uh, the spark session here and i'll be uh, first uh, running the logic thus far where revenue daily revenue per product id is computed okay now for broadcast variable what we have to do is first we have to read data from the local file system the way i have shown earlier and then once you get the um, list of all the products by reading from the file system so i'm running this line of code here i can read the elements in the collection using index because it's it's soft type list okay now from uh, if i have to create a broadcast variable um, out of it and do a lookup into this to get the product name first i need to create a dict or hash map where you have the product id and the product name by passing the product id you, you should be able to get the product name okay so as products is list i can use typical python map function which take two arguments that we can actually check by saying help on map and it takes two arguments not functions two arguments one is function function and second one is the list which is nothing but sequence sequence is the term used for the list or collection and it returns a list type okay so now i can use let me develop using sublime text products map equal to map of lambda product and then i want to extract uh, uh, the product id and uh, product name as a pair um, and then i want to convert it into a dict okay so i can actually say product dot split comma is the delimiter and then zero for product id and it is of type integer so i'm type casting it by saying int and then i i want to get a product name also so product name is the third value so i have to say of two like this and then i can copy paste this one okay it request two arguments the first argument is the lambda function and the second argument is the collection itself which is products now i can run this and i can say products map of zero to get this first element now we need to convert into key value pair 
and uh, the, the structure uh, which represents key value pair in python is dict so i'm just invoking this function called dict which will convert list to uh, dict or hash map it is similar to hash map now if i say products uh, map and hit enter You can see it is uh, of type uh, dict and it's like JSON. And if you want to read from here, you have to use this key to return the value. Instead of using uh, index as subscript, now I have to use this as key to get the corresponding value. So if I say one, three, four, five here, it will give us the value. Okay. So now we have the hash map. And from here, we have to create broadcast variable and then we have to do the lookup instead of joining from our previous data set which is nothing but daily revenue per product ID. So the way you can broadcast is by using um, a function called broadcast on Spark context. Okay and here let me give the variable name as bv our products bv equal to sc dot broadcast and here you can pass uh, any data type it need not be hash map it can be any data type and also broadcast variable can be used for other use cases also but one of the common use cases is to do the lookup and here i am passing the dict as value now let me copy paste this one you can actually say let me give it as products bv not product bv you can say type of products bv and it is of type broadcast once it is broadcast if you want to get a value you can actually see help on it to see what all apis that are available on broadcast variable okay so if you say b dot value it will get the original data structure b dot um, broadcast variable dot value represents the original data in its original format and like that there are other apis also you if you are interested you can explore but value is the one which we typically use i'm quitting now from here and you can say products bb dot value and hit enter it is written in the dict or hash map and then you can say one three four five to get the corresponding value now we will we will use this broadcast variable in um, api in one api to do the lookup and get the product name on top of uh, um, after computing uh, daily uh, um, after computing or while computing daily revenue we can actually do it while computing itself okay so here um, in the reduce by key function not reduce by key function uh, in this orders join map itself okay i am copy pasting this code and if you see here i am getting product id by saying this okay the product id if i want to get product name once the broadcast variable is created okay what i can do is i can say bv dot value and then this one products bv dot value and then it actually give us uh, order date and product name instead of product id and we will be computing revenue um, based on uh, order date and product name is the order date and product id okay so now let me copy paste this code there is a bug in the code i have to put it here now let me copy paste this code and now let me say daily revenue per product id dot first
you can see here instead of getting product id i got product name directly and now let us let us compare the overall execution life cycle after using broadcast variable with um, uh, the one before using broadcast variable which we have already seen earlier okay it has four um, uh, stages and uh, also we have to write uh, logic to um, a bit complicated logic uh, like this to get what we want okay so here we we have written six lines of code <clears throat> on top of what we have earlier to join the way we want here we only have to rewrite this uh, or we have to add these three lines of code and rewrite uh, the orders join dot map function a bit in a different way uh, to get the necessary output so development perspective also it, it can actually simplify um, uh, uh, implementation of the logic compared to doing the joins okay so now the session is launched and uh, let me copy paste the code up to joining once uh, the join is done i can run this code okay now for i in i'm invoking the um, action so that we can actually execute the dag on daily revenue per product id print of i and let me copy the tracking url for this session and hit enter and go to the browser open new tab paste this and see the dag now you can see there are only three stages the way we have seen earlier one stage is reduced and also our code is simplified and you can see significant performance uh, improvement and the way it will work is once you broadcast a variable wherever the data is being processed in executor tasks at each stage so for example if i click on stage zero you can see within executor there are uh, four tasks that ran and uh, the broadcast will, variable will be passed on to these four tasks and it will do a lookup in these four tasks to uh, to get the corresponding value and the same broadcast variable will be passed on to all the tasks that are used to process in the data uh, process the data across all the stages whether you use it or not but if you use it you can leverage that broadcast variable and do whatever action uh, and perform whatever action you want on that broadcast variable in this case um, while uh, before performing uh, reduce by key while getting a, a proper key and value so that we can aggregate i actually did the lookup and i got the necessary uh, information such as product name so that we um, we get um, the daily revenue per product name okay so this is how the execution life cycle also will differ when we use broadcast variables and these are the typical steps uh, if it is from local file system just read the data convert into a collection and then build a dict or hash map of it and then broadcast by using sc.broadcast and use it to, in whatever stage uh, or whatever api you want okay it will be available across all the tasks uh, and uh, in all the stages and uh, you can use it wherever you want and it can simplify the logic and the performance wise also it can be different i cannot show uh, the performance difference because it is not uh, as obvious as it could be because of the lower volume of data which i am using to demonstrate okay and coming back to certifications um, if they ask you to implement using broadcast variable um, in certifications like hdpcd spark you have to use broadcast variable otherwise whatever is convenient to you you just go ahead with it and get the solution okay